alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd my beloved sisters in islam reflect on the reality of groups like isis or is or boko haram or ashabab before you think of joining them before you think about becoming brides of people who entice you who entice you with their falsehood and entice you with their beauty reflect upon the reality look to the reality and don't follow your vain desires and destroy your lives and destroy the futures of the ummah of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem fa madha ba'd al-haqq illa dhalal and what is what could be after the truth except falsehood so ponder and reflect for a minute Look at these individuals who burn men alive. Look to these individuals who cut the heads off of reporters who aren't even combat combatants by any measurement. Whether it be in Islamic scale or whether it be a scale other than Islam, that no one regards the reporter as a combatant, but yet these individuals slice the necks and publicize and make videos and spread it around the world and attempt to beautify it as the shaitan attempts to beautify the hellfire and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about those people who were extreme and would come after him and would be the individuals who curse and declare other muslims to be non-muslims to be disbelievers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without the right to do so and be excessive in their religion and extreme in their brutality the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said al khawarij kilab an nar the khawarij they are the dogs of the hellfire and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem wa anna hadha sirati mustaqim fa tabiu wa la tabiu subul فَتَفَرَّقْ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, well, And this is my straight path. So then follow it. And do not follow the various paths. And divide and separate from my path or the straight path. أَحَبَّتِ فِي اللَّهِ My beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, Before you attempt, before you reflect, before you think of joining groups that you know nothing about except for what they make beautify for you on the internet then ponder and reflect upon their reality the reality is as if you were to take and beautify a house for someone and it seems and appears that it is a house which is strong and it appears to be a house in which you can inhabit and it appears to be a house in which you could make as a place of comfort and refuge but in fact when you enter the house you find it has no foundation and you find it has no roof and the storms descend upon it and it is destroyed and likewise your religion will be destroyed if you join the people of destruction an abdullah bin mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala khatta lana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khatta thumma qala hadha sabil allah thumma khatta khututan an yaminihi wa an shibalihi wa qala هذه سبل على كل سبيل منها شيطان يدعو إليه ثم قرأ وأن هذا صراط مستقيم فاعتبئوه عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه said that the messenger صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم said or that the messenger صلى الله عليه وعلى آله drew a line Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then he said, this is the path of Allah. Hadha sabeel Allah. Thumma khatta khututin an yaminihi wa an shimalihi. Then he drew a line on its right. And he drew a line on the left. Wa qal, hadha hi subul. And these are the paths. On each one of these paths is a shaitan who calls to it. Then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read, وَأَنَّ هَذَا سَرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمٍ فَاعْتَبِيُوهُ Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read the ayat, and this is, the, is, this is my straight path, then therefore follow it. 
This is the command of Allah. But do not follow the command of people who claim to be the Khalifa, who claim to represent the Muslims. Do not follow the path of someone he may beautify and be a an handsome, a handsome individual calling you to be his bride, calling you and preying upon you, enticing you, thinking that you're going to the Bilal of Islam, thinking that you're going to help Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen, thinking that you're going to help and raise up Islam in the name and the honor of the believers, because in fact they they are there to humiliate the believers, to cause fitna for the Muslims everywhere on the earth, and to distort the image of Islam through brutality, through slaying, through killing, through killing the women, through killing the children, through spreading bloodshed and wickedness throughout the earth, through causing sectarian strife, thinking that they're aiding Islam, but in fact, they're only aiding the shaitan and aiding the enemies of Islam, those people who care nothing about Muslims and love to see the Muslims killing one another and love to see the Muslims publicizing their sins. This is in fact what you're joining. You're joining brutality. And is this what you understand Islam to be? Do you understand Islam only to be bloodshed? Do you understand Islam only to be capturing human beings and slaughtering them? Do you understand Islam to be burning and destroying the environment? Do you understand Islam? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And may Allah bless us to be a source of guidance. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم